Welcome Aquarius. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Marlena and I'm here to do your monthly energies and your what you're feeling spread for the month of November. How you doing? Welcome. I appreciate you coming to my channel. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. If you have any comments, make sure you leave them below. I love to hear your comments, especially when they resonate with you. Many times I have no idea what is going on. So, <laughs> um, so I appreciate you leaving your comments below. Um, what else is going on? Love coaching is available on Instant Go and on my website at www.gracefulhealingretreat.com. I also have the quickie text, the quick text that you, if you needed a quick question answered via text on Instant Go, that's also available for only $10. If you're interested in that, shout me out, check me out on Instant Go at Graceful Healing. Um, so what we're going to do is start off with your monthly energies. We're going to go from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. And then we're going to break it down a little bit and see how you're feeling throughout the month. And then we're going to go into your what you're feeling spread. We'll talk about how you're feeling, how your mate's feeling, um, any obstacles and issues. And then we're going to look into your advice. Many times the obstacles come out in the reading, but I just do it just to appease you guys. <laughs> Because, you know, I got my own way of thinking, but, you know, spirit makes it clear, okay? Woo. Okay, so we're going to appreciate, I appreciate spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you again for coming to my channel, and let's get going. So this is your monthly energies. Whew. All right. For Aquarius, for November 2018. Thank you, spirit. And at the end of the month, what we have going on. All right, thank you. All right, so the message we have here for you is that basically you will be working on setting boundaries at the beginning of the month. You will be, I feel like you will be enlightened further. That's going to lead you to your purification, purifying yourself, moving you to the next level and at the end of the month you'll be working on compassion having to have compassion for others why because people gonna get on your nerves it looks like this is a <laughs> this looks like a month where if you're trying to set boundaries that means that perhaps you weren't doing it in the past perhaps you weren't enforcing them um that's something that i work on with your, my love coaching helping you enforce your boundaries um, it's just hilarious because I just spoke to one of my girlfriends and she was talking about this kid that lives above her that just runs and runs. And so the parent was upset when she was banging. You know how you take that broom? I don't know if y'all ever lived in an apartment. Sorry, that's just maybe me. But <laughs> she was banging on a ceiling trying to get the girl to stop or get the child to stop running because the child was bouncing the ball and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so the parent calls downstairs and gets my girlfriend in trouble because they're like, what are you doing? And she's like, what is she doing? She needs to stop that child from, you know, bouncing the ball and running upstairs. At any rate, setting boundaries. That happens when it comes with your children. It happens when it comes with your mate as well. Um, and many times we don't know how to set boundaries, so we just get rid of the person. We don't know how to, basically, we don't know how to fend for self. So when you are in a position where you have a hard time looking out for yourself then you always want to jump out the relationship or you want to blame it on the other person i don't know where we're going here but then you start to play the victim but in essence you played a role in not enforcing those boundaries so therefore when that mate did not give you what you wanted you were afraid you were upset you got pissed you left so here we're talking about enforcing those boundaries not only saying i want things to be this way but i need things to be this way and when they're not this way you just don't go crying ah you didn't do this for me or you don't you didn't do this for me no it's about you okay what do you do to change that change that and so like with children it's like the example um you take the ball away right um you give them candy at night you take that candy away um, whatever you take, you know, whatever it is that you need to do, you take it away or you put it somewhere else or, um, but you don't really get rid of the child. Do you? <laughs> so right now, um, when it comes to boundaries, I feel like you will be manifesting those boundaries, setting, enforcing those boundaries. Um, and I feel like you feel like it may not be loving. Maybe the other person will feel like 
you, I feel like you're afraid that the other person will feel like you're not loving if you enforce these boundaries. But in essence, you'd be surprised what honesty actually does because honesty helps you um, help the other person understand where you're coming from. We're all from different places. We're all, you know, we're raised differently. We were all, we have different parents, lived in different states, households, whatever, and everything is different in each household. I don't care if you live in the same city, y'all both from the same city, from the same culture and everything. You still have a different household. Why? Because your parents grew up a different way. Your parents, went through something different. They had their own experiences. So therefore you have your own experiences. So all of that to say, I feel like you're afraid that this won't be loving if you set boundaries. But what I'm telling you is it is. <sighs> all right. There goes one message. Let's see what's going on as far as this enlightenment. So I feel like you're going to get that epiphany. You're going to start to feel like, wow. Okay. I get it, Marlena. Um, you're right. I know I was right. <laughs> um, so you're going to start to feel that way about the second half, the second week of the month. You're going to start to feel like, okay, I get it. Thank you. Um, so alongside of that, um, I also feel like you're just going to feel a little, little confined based on these actions. You may not be getting out as often as well the second week of the month. I feel like you feel like you are kind of stuck a little bit. Okay. A little stuck. Okay. I'm saying okay because, like, what is going on here? These cards are coming out of everywhere. Um, so, you know, again, you're going to have to, you know, work on your heart chakra. It looks like you will be opening up your heart because you're going to have that capability at that time. You're going to slowly do it, though. You're not going to just jump out there. Um, if you have some, I feel like you're going to have some apprehensions when it comes to kind of jumping out there. And that's for that second week of the month. Anything else, Spirit? <sighs> All right, because we're about to go on to this purification. So this is about you releasing, okay? Releasing, allowing things to flow in a different way. Uh, purification is about, yeah, mainly releasing. Releasing that old way of thinking, um, having pure thoughts in regards to this. It's going to be very successful for, you, for, successful for you. You're going to grow through this process. So know that that's okay. So whatever challenges you're coming into, it's like you're going to start to understand and get it in the month of November. So at the end of the month, at the end of the month, you'll be able to have that level of compassion. It won't be just, okay, you do what I ask you to do, and if you don't, you're gone. Hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jackina. <laughs> it won't be just that you will have the compassion by the end of the month because you would have grown you would have changed your mindset a bit you would have grown to the next level and you'll be successful in it and you'll feel like wow huh huh ha ha <laughs> it's not as bad as i thought and now you can have compassion for your partner have compassion for your mate have compassion for people in general who are just getting on your nerves. Whoever it is that you're having to set the boundaries for at the beginning of the month, you're going to be able to understand, get it. It's going to click for you by the end of the month. Okay? Anything else, Spirit? Seems like it was kind of straightforward, right? I love it. Let's do it. All right, let's get on into your what you're feeling spread. Let's go ahead and see how you're feeling. And like I said, and then we'll go into how your mate's feeling. We're going to also, like I said, go into your, like I said, I'm just repeating myself. I feel like I'm repeating myself. But we're going to also go into uh, your obstacles and advice. Okay? All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius for the first half of November. So this What You're Feeling Spread is going to be for the first half of November for you. And then I'll come back for the mid-month. If I'm here, because I'm trying to get the videos out. So if I don't get it out, just understand, please. And I'll make sure I get December's out. My goal was to try to get all of these out by the end of October. So we'll see how things go. So we're going to look at the past, present, and future. How you're feeling. And then we're going to go into your meet. Okay, so religious factors was, impact, was impacting your relationship in the past. 
your spiritual path. So maybe you guys had some spiritual changes, some upbringing. Again, this goes back to that upbringing that we were talking about in regards to your boundaries. Um, the middle of the month, you're gonna wonder, is it worth, um, not the middle of the month, I'm sorry. Currently, which is gonna be November, the first half of November, you're gonna feel like maybe this is not worth the wait and you're gonna have to ask for help, okay? So um, you're gonna accept help, ask for and accept help from others. So at the end of the, so moving forward into the near future, you're gonna have, you're gonna start to, again, have that self-respect for yourself, which then makes you look more romantically attractive, makes you more romantically attractive. So let me show you what came out. You have religious factors. You had worth the wait, but this is in reverse. Oops, oopsie daisy. But the worth the wait was in reverse. Let your friends help you. And loving yourself first. Loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's what you're moving into towards the middle and the end of the month. By you setting these boundaries, this all fits so beautifully, right? Go Aquarius! Woo -woo! This um, fits so beautifully because it's, again, hitting back to home. How you were brought up. And so you might have been brought up to be a little more meek, mild, be the nice little, you know, whatever your religion is. <laughs> and not maybe speak up, maybe not ask for what you want because maybe it's not ladylike. Maybe from a male's perspective, you may feel like, oh, okay, well, it just should happen. Just expect it. So you're not speaking it. You're not asking for it. You're not enforcing it. Um, because you just think it's just supposed to happen. Uh, many times we go into relationships like that thinking it's just supposed to happen. Like it's just poof. Everything's supposed to gel well. Like, you know, you get married. Everything's supposed to be great. The first year of your marriage is the worst year of your marriage. Know that. The first five, they say, if you can make it through the first five, then maybe you can, you've gotten over the hump. But it's the hardest in the beginning because, again, you're trying to gel two people from two different backgrounds, from even different religions, things of that nature, different paths, and bringing them into one. So all of that to say, let me move on. You're going to get some help. So let's go ahead and find out. I mean, I feel like this is, again, straightforward. I feel like we really can move on to your mate, but let's just get a little more because I feel like I spoke to this at the beginning. So religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religion, your upbringing and your spiritual path so let's see what that's about can we get a little clarity spirit okay yeah so this is again going back to the past someone from the past so you know it's your past that's influencing you very simple your past is influencing you in this relationship this is how it was in the past so now you are at a place where you're just not quite sure is it worth the wait is it so you're trying to get help so let's see what spirit has in regards to this. Is it worth the wait? Because you're questioning, is this worth everything? Is divine timing at work? Are the angels helping me? You're questioning all this at this time, Aquarius. All right. Oh, my, my, my. All right. Dang. Okay. So you just had all these major arcanas just come out. And I feel like a couple more want to come out. Dang. Woo. And we we'll want to come out. So you have some major shifts going on right now so let me just continue before i pull some more because i already know mm. dang all right can i stop okay all right all right thank you all right let me just go because this is very long okay so what you're working on is possibly ending a relationship because you're looking for balance um, you're not quite sure if you want to be in this relationship because somebody is overbearing, over controlling. Um, this relationship is not over though. Someone feels like that they've been, been manipulated. Um, and it's been burdensome for you. Uh, I feel like some of you have gotten back with someone from the past and, um, you just kind of over it. Maybe there's no passion, but you kind of, you're losing that passion for that person. You're kind of over it. Um, some of you are just trying to meditate on this because, I think some of you also found out about a third party and you feel trapped into this relationship but it's really you don't have to feel trapped okay so it's going to cause some arguments and you're going to wonder whether or not it was worth working on this i feel like some of you are going to work towards trying to get an understanding again work towards that enlightenment so this is what's going on for you at the beginning of the month you're trying to get some understanding 
but you have some major shifts coming in and then you're going to start to tap into your intuition your intuition is what's going to help you be guided especially towards the middle of the month to the end of the month it's your intuition that's going to take you there <sighs> all right i mean i just have to tell you it's like every sign is out right now <laughs> like virgo taurus gemini the only thing i don't see right now is cancer but i see aries um whoo lord libra scorpio i just had to put it out there they all out but again um this still leads back to you i feel like making a decision and it's going to help you then understand your path understand um help you with your religious aspect for it all but it's like you're going to be thinking and questioning and then you're going to finally just again have that epiphany because there's a choice that you're going to have to make and it's going to be whether or not to keep your guards up or to let them down <sighs> all right so let's see how your friends are going to help you in the mix of all of this that was a lot i mean if i just showed you i just i gotta show you this is this is how it came out this was your past right but then you got the leap you got libra justice death scorpio aries empire emperor lovers I, I just gotta show you i don't normally do this because it just takes too long but you just was working it i mean these are all big ticket items that are coming out because you're just going to be fed up you're going to be over it so look forward to it but it's going to help you change your perspective change your mindset make you more intuitive you won't be just thinking how you normally thought just because that's what somebody told you to think or somebody told you how to think or because your parents did it it's going to be you finally understanding for yourself what is it that you need to do for you to improve your situation i just had to show you all that okay now i need to move on so you're going to ask for support to help you during this time And all of it's going to lead to you just that self-respect that I feel like many of you didn't have in the beginning. So, yes, you're going to talk to your you're going to talk to your friends about this decision that you want to make. You feel some of you may feel like you're trapped in doing whatever it is that you need to do, but I feel like you're going to talk to your friends and let your friends help you. You're going to get advice. You're going to contact someone to get that kind of advice that you need. And again, it's going to be talking about how burdensome this is for you and how you want to open your heart, how you would like to do that. But it's just difficult. It's just hard for you. So you're just going to be asking for that advice regarding that. Okay. Because really, ultimately, you feel like you're in an imbalanced relationship. And that's what you're going to be talking to them about. And you're going to try to gain some patience regarding this person from the past. okay so some of you are also dealing with a fire sign i saw sagittarius come out but um this is going to be deciding about a new beginning a more tangible beginning for you in your mates okay hopefully you guys can hear me because i felt like i didn't hear me for you and your mates <laughs> okay so let's go ahead towards the end of the month so again you're feeling good vibrant i'm uh, not the end of the month i'm sorry moving into the future I'm taking this like differently because I don't know why I'm saying this, but I feel like at the end of the month, this is going to happen for you too. So I, I try not to take it back because spirit speaks and it's not an accident. Okay. So again, <laughs> this is beautiful. You have the sun here. The sun is about that happiness, that completion, that laughter, that love. This is what you're going to gain by you coming into your own not doing what other people tell you to do but coming into your own and it looks like it's in regards to also a fire sign so let's go ahead and start pulling in for your mate let's see how your mate is feeling so we're going to look at your mate how your mate is feeling then we're going to look at your obstacles and advice so let's see how aquarius mate is feeling for the first half of november november 15th first through the 15th okay november 1st through the 15th for aquarius November, okay. November 1st through the 15th for Aquarius. November 1st through the 15th for Aquarius. All right. All right. So, what we received is finances and career. 
you will see true love, past life, relationship, and you also receive trust. So, your partner is feeling, so in the past, you, your partner had some financial issues. So they've been coming out of that, working their way out of that. Let's see what clarity regarding these financial issues, because finances was impacting your relationship in the past. Yeah, it, it is no longer. It's a decision has been made. It's no longer a burden for your partner. Um, they feel like they now have options, okay? And um, they feel like they're not, they're, not, they're not having to compete anymore for these finances. So it's no longer impacting your relationship. That's how they feel. So Aquarius makes feel, and oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Let me give you my spiel. Hi, my name is Marlena with Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot, and this is a general reading. This can go vice versa. This could be how your partner's feeling. This could be how you're feeling. So make sure you take what resonates and leave the rest on the table. All right, now let's go back. Um, <laughs> I got issues, y'all. <laughs> but um, so, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. This is how your partner feels about you. They feel like you are it. You are the dong dong being in the bone. Anyway, they feel like you're the one. They do see that there is some imbalance in a the relationship. They recognize this. Um, they recognize that they may be the controlling one as well um, and trying to control this relationship. But they see that there is an imbalance here. Um, and that's what's causing the arguments. So again, Aquarius, if you're the one who knows that you're not happy, you know that this is imbalance, what do you need to do? Set those boundaries. That's how you make it balanced. If you're giving, 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 you're the one giving. Know that you are the one giving. You don't have to. And many times it's a deep-rooted issue. Don't get me started, y'all. See, y'all about to have me go on a tangent. Normally, it's a deep-rooted issue. The issue is the fact that you feel like you need to people please. Okay, now you're about to get it wrong. I ain't got time for this. Point is, you feel like you need to people please. You feel like you need to please your man. You feel like you need to please your woman because you feel some insecurity deep down inside of you. But once you lift that, once you no longer feel that one way, once you feel special about yourself, once you're able to recognize that you are to stand up on high, when you recognize that you are abundant, when you recognize that you all that in a bag of chips, then you don't feel like you need to people please. Then you can ask for what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. But when you feel like you are beneath them, then you feel like maybe I need to do this, maybe I need to do that. I'm not good enough for them. So I now need to work overtime for them to love me. And you don't. All right, that was for somebody. So y'all trying to get me hyped for no reason. Okay, so they feel like you are their true love. They recognize that there's an imbalance. So you're the reason, you need to balance it out, right? Um, which is causing arguments. But you don't have to argue with them to say, I don't like this. I wish you wouldn't do this anymore. I appreciate it. I'm not sure what's going to happen if you do it again, but I'm letting you know it's a problem for me. And I'd appreciate it if you never do it again. You can say it calm. When you get outrageously loud, um, angry, it's coming from a place of fear. Again, when you have that extreme love for yourself that you deserve the utmost respect and the best then you can come from a place of power love which ultimately leads to compassion you like how that went full circle don't y'all <laughs> all right aquarius so so I feel like they don't want to argue anymore. They recognize that there's a lack of passion here as well. I also feel like this is a fire sign that you guys are dealing with. So yes, they recognize it if you're unhappy, um, but they know that you're going to get back together. They feel like you too will get back together, okay? But you, um, they feel like they may be competing for your love as well. So let's go on into this past life relationship. So they feel like, so this past life relationship is in reverse. This past life relationship is about you having known each other before. But this right here leads me to believe that you're together. They knew you before, they think about you. If you're not together, they're thinking about you. If you are together, they feel as though um, they know they've known you before. They know that it's a spiritual twin flame connection, okay? So... So they're willing to work on. 
So I feel like some of them are thinking so hard about it, they may be working towards looking at other options. They have the Wheel of Fortune here and the Hermit. So that's them kind of being saddened, not quite sure, questioning themselves. But I feel like they were still working hard and contemplating moving forward. I feel like some of them feel like that they're judged. And they may be looking towards an ending. They're feeling some sense of judgment here. But I see this coming to an end. Completion. This past relationship. So this could be a past with you or a past with someone else. But I feel like it's coming to an end for some of you. But moving forward. And this is, it seems to me like, again, he, they're working. He or she is definitely working on their finances. So moving forward in the near future, they feel like they need to trust and have faith in regards to this relationship. So they're losing faith. They're losing faith. They feel like you're their true love, but they are losing faith in this relationship. So let's see what that's about. This situation Whew. is calling for you to have faith. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Ooh, all right. Okay, so um, some of you, again, are separated. Um, they feel like they've been out in the cold. Maybe then you're not talking to them right now. But they're trying to have faith and hold on to that faith because they're holding on to that happy ending. They're hoping that things will get better. This is definitely burdensome for the, them as well. So, again, they see the, the lack of passion. Um, so the same things are coming out. So they're in the same place, but they just feel really out in the cold at this time so in the near future they feel like they really need to trust because i feel like some of y'all you're going to be you know you're just talking trying to work things out and they're going to take it in a way that you can't help so if they take it negatively because you start to step up for yourself because you start to stand up for yourself that's really their problem because then that goes back to their issue see and this is what i do in my, in my readings because i get deeper because really it's a deep core issue it's all about a core issue that you have from your past something that you have to def definitely dig up recognize and then you can and then you can move forward but if you're still walking out of a place of fear if you're still walking out of a place of regret a lack of understanding um or feeling diminished as a person then yes the way in which they try to control you they're going to continue to try to control you i see there's some control issues definitely here but let's go ahead and find out what the obstacles are and what the obstacles are what are the obstacles because <laughs> i feel like i already know what the obstacles are but you know i feel like some of you need to see it for yourselves okay so i'm gonna let you see it for yourself aquarius all right what are the obstacles let's go ahead and ask spirit thank you holy jesus thank you spirit holy ghost power ultimate god whoever you believe in allah jesus christ Thank you. Let's ask the Spirit. Let's ask Holy Spirit. Let's ask a higher self. What is it? What is it about? Hmm. Okay. All right. These are some of the issues. And I kept telling you passion was an issue. All right. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. Okay. Ah, I love it. So beautiful. So beautiful. All right, Aquarius. <laughs> So, your issues are the fact that, one, things are kind of shallow. Things are not as deep. Your bond is not deep with this person. Why? Again, because you're not expressing who you really are. Some of y'all faking it. Some of y'all faking it to make it. Some of y'all feel like I just need to put a smile on my face and keep on going and then maybe they'll be happy. But they don't know who you are. They don't know what's really going on. Who are you? Do you know? And so, yes, another issue is the lack of passion. The passion in this relationship is on hold. Nobody's heart is singing with joy right now. And then the other issue that you're having is you need to know you deserve love. Again, this goes back to a deep-rooted issue in yourself. Your mate may be dealing with this as well. But the point is you both need to work on both of this. Excuse me. Deepening your bond, your passion levels, and the fact that you deserve love. Knowing that you deserve love not just guessing well maybe uh eh. no you are lovable you do deserve love okay so that's what this is about so this is your issue so let's now find out what is the advice that we have for aquarius <sighs> y'all be making me work hard i swear i feel like i'm in one of my spiritual coaching sessions like come on now all right lord mm, preach 
to make the effort. Okay, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Some of you are fighting against this. You're fighting the next steps for your life, for your relationship, because you fear the outcome. Don't fear it. Embrace it. I mean, at the end of the day, who cares if it's not working right? If, you're not, if you don't have a deep bond and it's a shallow relationship and they don't even know who you are. I feel like I told somebody this last month. Hmm. Was it you? I don't remember. Let me know down below if this resonates, how this resonates. And if I told y'all this last month, but Aquarius, if that's the case, y'all need to reach out. Um, like I said, the coaching sessions, the love coaching sessions, the love readings, all of them will help you find out the core of your issue, the core of what it is that you need to learn to heal yourself, to help you in your relationship, help you with your relationship with you. Everything I'm about is about loving yourself. And you can love yourself while in relationship. Question is, most people don't know how to love themselves while in relationship. They feel like they have to get out to replenish themselves, to be who they are, to go to their friends and their family, do that, and then go to someone else, you know, being someone else. Halloween is over. All right, so your additional advice is, I love it. Take a chance on love. <laughs> You also receive the only thing that really matters is love. The only thing that's real is love. Why are all these cards falling? All right. So when we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Take a chance on love. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Okay, Aquarius? I love it. This was an awesome reading. I appreciate you coming to my channel. Make sure you definitely leave comments below how this resonates with you. Um, I love to hear how it resonates with you because it shows me that you're listening, that you are, um, that you understand. And I'm hoping that it helps you, honestly. Um, that's what I'm really looking for. When I ask you to leave comments, is this helping you? Because really, it's small steps that we have to take to improve ourselves. It's small steps to improve ourselves in relationship, in love. But the biggest relationship that most people need to work on that they don't realize is the relationship with themselves. I love you. Love yourself first. I love you. Have a blessed day. Bye, Aquarius. <laughs>